evening, uh, good afternoon, good night, whatever time is for you. Uh, thank you for tuning in again and uh, joining us in this webinar. Today we have Laura uh, from UK. Uh, she's a Power Platform consultant and she has good experience in uh, using SVGs in Power BI, apparently. Uh, hey, Laura, how are you doing? I'm doing all right, thanks. How are you? Good, good. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Uh, joining us today should be your evening time Thursday, I guess, yes. late evening. Yes. Right. Uh, so uh, before I let you to start, uh, to our audience, if you have any questions, feel free to write it in the chat window and in the YouTube uh, chat window, and uh, I'll pass it to Laura and, uh, and we'll discuss through that. Uh, so that's me. I'll... Uh, hand over to you. You can share your screen, Laura, and start your presentation. Thank you very much. Oh, let me just share my screen. Sure. There we go. Let's yep, fantastic. So, I can see that. Brilliant, thank you. So, hi, I am Laura Graham Brown, but in mostly online, I am known as Laura GB. And I been doing playing with data for way too long I remember Excel in its very early days it was not the beast it is today and I have a blog site a hat full of data and I also have a YouTube channel with various various videos on there I cover Power BI um, Power Apps and a little of Power Automate not as much as the other two though and I also have a blog site and I try to have I try to have blog pages to match all my videos so that for those of you that don't like watching a video, you can go and find it written down instead. So what we're going to do in today's session is I'm going to give a very quick introduction to what SVG is. Um, and then but then I'm going to show you something playing around with SVG in Power BI. So SVG is a really simple um, concept. It's been around for quite a long time. So it's it's a it's a way of doing HTML. I'm um, drawing in drawing in a web page is where it came from, and SVG stands for um, a scalar vector graphic. So it can scale, it can be stretched, it won't get um, it won't become pixelated like other packages do. And one of the ways of learning bits about SVG is there's lots of websites out there, but here's one um, which is W3 Schools. They're they're great. They have um, Lots of guides to it. Yeah, I, I know there are some, some some issues with the site, but actually for SVG, they're pretty good. And there are lots of other ones on there. Um, so they give you, so, so this part here in the middle of the screen, this is SVG. So at the top there, it says how big it's going to be. And in, in, in here, we've got a circle and it says where the center is going to be. So a CX and CY, how the radius, it's going to have a green um, outside and it's going to be filled with yellow. So if we click on the try it yourself, um, there you are, it puts it in and we can put in a, a different color into there, let's say red and run it. And there you are, there is your, the SVG. And this is a great way to play around and work out the different parts of the SVG, okay? Now I haven't got huge numbers of slides for you which have got lots of information on there. Instead, what I what I've done is on my blog site, so hatfulofdata.blog, um, I've done an SVG series, and here we are. It started off like with very really four posts, but since then we've we've added various ones as people have wanted things. And down here you can see that I have taken very simple code. I talk about what SVG is, and here we are. Here's a very similar thing, drawing a red circle. So SVG is, is a language that, that's been around a while. It's, it's accepted. There are lots of places, there are lots and lots of things, lots, lots of places that will give you more guidance on it. At the bottom of this one here, I think uh, I've got a couple of references. So there's W3 schools and Jenkov does some superb examples and some superb ideas and things. So there's, so there's a couple of sources and I'll cover another source of where I get my SVG in a moment. But let's go. Let's let's take that circle, okay? 
that circle we've got there. And I want to draw that in, um, in Power BI. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch over to Power BI. And I have, let me just open my Power BI window. So this, this is not about um, data manipulation. So I have the simplest data model going. So if you're going to have a look at our data here in Power, here in Power BI, let's lose that measure for a second. Let's go on to something else. Um, and there we go. We've got a, a column with some text in. We've got a percentage in. Um, and we've got in there, we've got some statuses about of, of, of things which we'll have a look at in a moment. OK, so what we're going to do is we're just going to draw that circle. That's my aim to begin with. Now. There used to be a um, HTML viewer in um, Power BI and then it vanished much to my upset, but there is a new one that's been produced. And let me see if I've got the right web page open. I'm hoping I have. Here it is. Um, this web page here is he's written a new visual. He's putting it through the right things to get it into the um, the standard ones that you can upload, the custom visuals. But it hasn't quite got there yet. And I'm going to remember his name in a moment. Can't see it at the moment. But I will retweet his tweet of announcing the link to this okay uh, my twitter is laura gb or sorry laura underscore gb so if i come into here and uh, i'm just going to go into import a visual from a file it warns you about the dangerous and i'm going to go to down oh there it is downloads there we go and open and there we go we get our, our visual here. So this is what we're going to use for one thing and then we're going to have a look at using it in a table and how that works. So SVG has parts and I've written a measure here. Really simple measure. OK. So I've got two variables at the top here for SVG start. So this is saying where the schema is. So this is W3Org who are um, the W3 consortium are the people that look after standards for um, SVG, HTML and all those other things. And then the view box here says the dimensions of all the other dimensions I'm going to mention in my visual are based on the idea of the box being starting at zero, zero. And so top left and bottom right is 100, 100. So they aren't measurements. They are how many units there are. OK, whatever the units are. So and then there's because it's a markup language, that's SVG opening and that's SVG closing. So I'm going to put into it. So I'm going to copy that. Oh, my favorite hint I learned. I learned in the last couple of days when you're creating a new measure. Don't do it up there because you, if you've got multiple tables, you'll lose it and you'll never remember which table it went in. But to do a right click on here and to go new measure there, because then it always appears in the right table. Um, so it's not nothing to do with SVG, but that's 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 one of my hints. Um, so we're going to go for um, my SVG circle. And into here we're going to put. Um, I'm going to paste all those bits and I'll, I'll end up copying and pasting that a lot of times. Um, so are you. But you could have them as separate measures. I, I put them all in because I, I usually only have one or two SVGs per per um, per report. So I'm going to put in my SVG circle equals. Now, there's a problem of copying and paste. That's not what I wanted to do. My apologies. So I'm just going to go and copy that off the website again. Um, and I'm going to show you the, the, the slight problem that we have. When you copy off here, this circle. They always use um, double quotes in in the text, but inside here you can. And that's it. The, the next version I do, I will show you how I use um, visual code to um, do a quick switch. But I'm just going to quickly switch through here and take out all my double quotes. And put in some single quotes. 
Okay, so you can get away with it inside SVG. They they treat single quotes and double quotes in the same way, as long as you stick to one, obviously, per string. So I'm just going to go through here. The next one I do, I'll do quicker. Okay, so I've got my my um, start finish. So into here into this string in the return, we're going to put in my SVG circle and another ampersand. OK, so that works. That measures it's working on it. There you are. It hasn't complained. I can now bring in my HTML display. And I can bring in my SVG circle and put that in as content. And there we are, we've got our circle, OK? And uh, I can stretch it. Now, you have to worry about the resizing because it, it wants to be a square, so you do need to make sure that actually your it allows shape for the square. But there you are, there is no problem about pixelating. It redraws it to fit the shape. Well, that's fine, but that's not totally what I want. What I want to be able to do is maybe I want to... So you have to remember that this... Uh, um, we now have conditional icons, but when I started this, I didn't have conditional icons. So I wanted to, to put icons like this into a table. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in a table. And I'm going to bring in the project. Let me just convince this. Go at the top there. And actually, as we're demoing here, let me just quickly go and load my theme that helps a little bit. Oh, it's not in the right place. My apologies. I'm not going to try and load my theme because I'm not going to find it. Um, the text is just a bit small there. So let's so we'll, we'll, we'll worry about that in a second. Because if I try and bring in my SVG circle into that table, because that would be nice. It doesn't work. I just get the SVG text. OK, so we're going to have a, another version of the SVG circle. So I'm going to create another new measure. And we're going to call this um, SVG circle that I can use in a table. OK, and so into there. So all I'm going to do is you need to put a prefix onto this. And I'll show you what that is in a second. But you put a pretext into there. And then do an ampersand. My SVG circle. Now, in that pretext, let me just show you what's in there. So the SVG pretext. Is this line of code and this is the same for every single SVG you have to do. It literally is saying that this is an image and it's made up of SVG and it, it, which is an XML format. OK, so that, that's and, and some standards in there. That's all you need to put beforehand. The other thing you need to do is you select your you select your measure and on the measure tools, it used to be under um used to be under modeling, under data category, you change it to be an image URL. And now I can add that. And they are, we've got our circles all the way down. OK. Now you have a problem on hint text. The hint text, it tells you the calculation. So you are going to have to do, um, not hint text, um, the word's gone out of my head, but you are going to have, you are going to have to um, put it in there so that you don't get CVSVG because that just looks ugly. OK. 
With regards to the size of that picture, if I come into formatting and I type into the search, I type in image, there is under the grid, there is an image height and that will allow you to make them bigger or smaller. OK, so that's the way you resize them to fit the effect you want to have. So what we're going to do next is we're going to have a look at. Um, so I'm just going to go on to another page. So we haven't quite got that big circle in the middle. And I'm going to have a, we're going to have a look at. So bringing in some KPI icons, the kinds of things you could do. So we'll go with a really simple one to begin with. So I'm going to bring in my table. I'm going to bring in my project. And I'm going to bring in my status. OK, and I am going to make that text bigger. Let's lose, let's lose the filters because that'll make it a little bit bigger in the view. But let's also bring in the text size to be a bit bigger. There we go. So we've got some we've got three statuses that are either late or in progress or complete. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in now we've used I've used these up and down arrows for things that have gone up and down in price, all sorts of things. But it doesn't matter what the shape is. I just want to show you the concept of um, using different shapes to be able to put in some form of icon in a column by themselves. And so we're going to come up with a new measure. And I've copied and I've got the wrong thing copied on my clipboard. My apologies. Let's 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 put that. Let's just call that an arrow for let's just call that an arrow for the time being. Let's make that measure behave for a second. Come to my SVG template. And just copy. That in. And let's call it, it was called arrow, wasn't it, at the top there? So let's go back to arrow. And what we're going to do in here is paste that in. So I'll lose that top part because we don't need the double name. So what I'm going to do is I've got copied and pasted um, in another window. You'll be glad to know so you don't have to watch me badly type. Is I've got some definition of some arrows. So I've come up with a up arrow and a down arrow. Now these could be any shapes you like. And so what we're going to do here is I'm going to put in the var um, arrow shape equals. So we're going to go for um, if and let's go for we're only expecting it to have one value, but it doesn't quite like you not going for a, 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 a some form of aggregation function. So I can go for max because it doesn't matter because we're only going to talk about one row. And I can then come in for my toy projects. Toy projects um, status. Equals. Late. Then we'll make it a down arrow because that's red. Or we'll make it an up arrow. So we're going to then go with round bracket on the end. And so what we're going to do is we're going to make this one so it will work inside my table. I don't need to see it um, outside of my table. So we're going to put into there the pretext already. So SVG pretext. And an ampersand. And then an ampersand into here. 
for an arrow shape. Okay. So that's my arrow sorted. That's my measure finished. So what we need to do before we try to use it is we need to do the category. It's thinking about it. Do the category, make the categorize it to be an image URL. And then I can add it to my table. OK. Now, thing as the little icons we have, but we do have all sorts of options we can do in there. You could have done boxes and all sorts of things. But so what I want to do is I want to move on and show you um, another trick that I've used for so something slightly more than just a little icon like this. So what we're going to do is we are going to go for uh, going back into a blank PowerPoint slide. OK, now in PowerPoint, um, Microsoft have provided uh, under the insert, we have icons. So if I look into here, now there are lots of SVG icon libraries out there, but this is the, this is one of the easiest ones, given that most of us will have PowerPoint. So I, I'm going to come into here and we're going to go for um, animals. And let's pick an animal. Let's pick um, squirrel. I've done squirrel before. Let's put that one in there. So there we are. There's our squirrel. It's an it's an SVG. Um, thank you, Microsoft, for suggesting design ideas, but we don't need them today. Now, what I can do of that image there is I can do a right click and save as picture. Now, all of these icons are written in SVG. OK, so that is. I'm going to throw that onto my desktop just so I can find it. And we're going to call it. Squirrel. OK, so now what I'm going to do is I am now going to switch into. Visual Studio Code. And we're going to go and open it so we can have a quick look at the code. So let's go and open file. And they are there's squirrel. OK, so let's maximize that up a second. And what I'm just going to show is it, it's actually quite simple what's in here is there is a path here now this path is literally move to this point do this do this do this and that's how it draws the complete squirrel and that goes on for a very long time okay so all the way across here and it finishes with a close of the svg now if you now this happens to only be one path if you've got multiple pieces in there you're gonna you, get, you, you have to be a little bit careful because sometimes it doesn't totally work, but most of the time you can actually get away with multiple pieces in there. But an important part to do is to do a search and replace. So Control H, I just play, I just pressed, and I'm doing a find double quotes and replace them with single quotes. Okay, and replace all. And then lose that box. And there you are, you see they've all been taken out. Now, but the only part I'm interested in is that path there. So I am going to copy that. I'm then going to head back into Power BI. And I'm going to go and create. Now I'm going to create a measure just for that path because it's a bit long and it just makes your code look really mucky or really untidy if you've got it in there. And this will keep you sane. I have been somebody who's worked with lots and lots of um, SVG in various places because people know that I will do it. Um, so my measure there, I'm literally just going to call it SVG of my squirrel 
equals double quote, two sets of double quotes in between the quotes and a paste. OK, so there is your complete squirrel path. So now. Um, actually, I'm going to call that squirrel path just so that I remember that's it's that's that's the path only. So now what we're going to do is we are going to create another new measure. OK, and in this one, I'm, I'm just going to I'm just going to um, take out of my copy and paste up here. So on my blog, I actually do the beginnings of these slightly differently. I've not separated out the SVG start in. Um, so this is me SVG squirrel. I've not separated out the, S, uh, the, the start in quite the same way. So if you look at my blog, you'll see that they all start with the SVG essentials and the two parts. So that bit's kept in the same place, but that's fine. So and I'm then going to I'm then going to have. So we're going to have a bar here that is going to be called a gray squirrel. Now SVG allows you. To do things like so I'm going to put in um, quotes. We're going to go with a, a G and this is going to be a. I can now bring in a style and into this style I can put in a fill. This is another way of filling things to be another colour and I can put into there grey. That should work. Let's put in a semicolon in there. Um, so that's the beginning part of it. And then we're going to bring in our measure. So I'm going to bring in two different colored squirrels here um, in a second. So SVG squirrel path. So we're just going to prove this one works. OK, and so then our return. Is going to be. Um, our SVG start. Ampersand. Our grey squirrel. Ampersand. Um, SVG end. OK, so that's that measure started. We'll do a little bit more in a moment. It's thinking about it. Um, the other thing we need to remember, so if you forget to um, data categorize it when you add it to a table. You get you get the the the, um, the, the, the horrifics of, of the SVG but trying to be written in. But as soon as I change that category, uh, that category to an image URL. It will change. So there we are. Lots of little grey squirrels. So. What I want to do is I want to um, base. So I'm going to add another column in here just so you can see um, the percentage complete. So let's just put that in before the squirrel. So we've got a percentage here, but I want to show those. Um, we'll just turn the, the totals off on this table. Oh, I want to show those as a coloured in squirrel. So how far up the squirrel it is, is how complete it is. OK, so we are going to go back into our measure. And I am going to copy that. OK. OK. 
and we are going to have a red squirrel. And in down here, I'm going to add in my red squirrel. Okay. So once I press return on that, that's uh, that's drawn a grey squirrel and then drawn a red squirrel immediately on the top. So there we are, lots of little red squirrels. So what what we're going to do is so now I want so all I'm going to now is is going to, going to going to show you that actually the bit I'm going to show I want to show you where I'm getting the source from for this rather than just plowing on and doing it just to prove to you that there is there is source there is um support for you to do this afterwards so if I go back in to my um my blog series filling up with color we're just waiting for that page to load is there any questions? We're okay. Uh, <clears throat> yep, very, very good, uh, uh, very good session so far. I really liked it. I just have a couple of questions myself, actually. Go for it. Uh, like, is SVG um, kind of browser dependent, or it would work like across all browsers anyway? I've not had a problem with browsers, so I've I've tried it in Chrome, IE. Mm -hmm. Edge. I, have to admit, I probably haven't gone. I probably haven't gone to slightly more obscure ones. Uh, um, an Apple. We 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 in the iOS. Um, that's been fine. Okay, um, that, that's great. Uh, another question is like, uh, SVG can be animated too or not? Right. So SVG can be animated, but it has the issue that the animation will probably um, happen when it loads. Right. And then won't, then won't, and unless you've got an animation that goes on, it w will then stop. Right. Okay. So, so it won't be like a loop. So yeah, you can do some SVG. So if you can do some SVGs that have some some loop animations, and there are some really cool ones out there. I have to admit, I have not tried them too much in Power BI reports, but hey, it's a cool one. Maybe I should add another post to the series. Great. Maybe I'll Thank you. Get it to work. Uh, I see a lot of people liking. The whole cool. session so far. Thank you. Okay, so let me try and explain the um. The, so what we're aiming for. I have a thing about elephants, by the way, which is why in in all my blogs it's always the elephant or the owl. So, but I, I try to do different things. So, this is what we're aiming for. Okay, is it coloured in to a certain amount? Um, and we're going to go from the left to right one. You can do the filling up from the bottom, but I'm probably not going to get the time to try and to try and do the to try and show you that one. So we're going to actually fill our squirrels in from the left. Um, so what we're going to do is, and so if you look in here, we've got in here a um, a clip width and and how it's working as to it, it works out a rectangle in here as to how wide that rectangle is going to be. So then what it does is it clips that red to that rectangle. So there's a rectangle being drawn over it, and that's how it works. OK, so we're going to cheat slightly. Work complete isn't quite the right thing, but I, it's going to be almost the right thing. And that's the part I need to remember down there is the clip path, but we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm going to take that piece of code there. I'm going to come back into my report and we're going to go for that squirrel and we're going to cheat slightly. So work complete isn't quite what I want. So what I want it to be is I want it to be the average of the how complete. OK, so that's so that's giving me my clip width. And then my definition here, let's at least not call it ID. Let's call it my clip rather than Ellie clip, because that makes like makes slightly more sense. Is 
draws a rectangle. Now, I know my box is 0, 0 to 100, 100. So I know that, so I'm going to go with a height of 100. So it's always the top. But my clip width is how wide it's going to be. So that's the width it's working out in there. OK, so that's my definition put in. So I need to make sure that I include my guess as part of the final SVG. OK, and then the red, if you if you remember back in the blog post. It said down here, click path. And then a URL and then a hash the name. OK, so we're going to put into there. This is why I use the style just but to make it slightly more things. And um, be aware, and, and this is the reason I'm going back and checking. Um, these things have to, these these things are case sensitive, so please get so, so please get them right. Okay, so the bit that I put into here, so the part where I put where I put in the name doesn't have to be in quotes, but it does have to match whatever you called it up here. So a hash my clip. L won't work, Laura. Um, and let's put a semicolon on the end there. So this, so the bit in the middle in this style is is what's known as a language called CSS. So let's return it. Let's let's, let's hope that the, the demo gods are playing. So there we are. We've got now you have to be aware that our, our squirrel doesn't quite fill the whole square. Um, it's tool tips. That's what that's that's the thing that I'm looking for here. You do need to make a tool tip that, that, that replaces that. Um, but so the, the bigger your image is, because that's obviously not a third of that squirrel. So you need to kind of work out an image that works quite well. But there you are. You've managed. We've managed to get in there. Our um, squirrel being coloured in a certain amount. OK, and uh, if we were going from the from the bottom upwards, we would draw our, our, our rectangle from the bottom left hand corner to cover it. Now, if we wanted to have a. Um, a version that shows us how much we complete over all of our projects. We could come up with a, another version of SVG Squirrel, so I literally am going to. Cheat a little bit. Copy that. My new measure. And I can bring that in and then I can. Up here, I'm just going to call it um, SVG squirrel for my HTML viewer. OK, and I just take out. The data part, the prefix, OK, that we had in there and um, press return. So it literally is just text. There's nothing else clever about it, really. And we're going to put in come off that table for a second. Thank you. And let's bring in the H. HTML viewer and let's bring in our <laughs> that box isn't quite wide it's, it's going to be the second one I think there it is it is the second one and basically you get you get a nice big one there I can so it will work as you filter down so there we are 100 percent 30 percent and any kind of slicer or filter you've got going it would work it out, okay. And whatever measure you want to put in there, it's a really nice, easy way to put in a bit, put in a visual that works. Um, the problem with the previous ones which we had, which um, a, a number of us have done videos about this, is you couldn't put multiple part ones in there, but you can put multiple part SVGs in here now. So that's when you've got an SVG that's got different parts to it. So if I go and show you in PowerPoint just for a second, one that has multiple parts. Um, if I come into here and insert.
and just pick one of the ones off the front screen. We'll be able to see one quickly. So if I come for this clock here, um, there will be a path. There will be a path to draw that bit, that bit, the circle, the hands, and all, all the separate individual parts. There'll be a separate path for all of them. OK, that, but that would work. That would work. Um, and, and your company, if it has a logo. So one of the companies I work with has lots of logos. They love their logos. They have a logo for everything um, or an icon. I can't remember which were the definitions of logos and icons. Apparently there is one. Um, and so I've managed to get them to give me the SVGs of them. So we've got all sorts of things um, for one of their factory sites. We've managed to use the, the factory logo they use within their reporting internally. Or we've managed to fill it up with a colour. And that, that's gone down so well. People really like that. Uh, they think we spent hours at it. But actually, it was just they saved an image as an SVG. Um, with regards to other things that you could produce. OK, I'm going to go back to my. How am I doing time wise? Uh, it's OK. Um, I'm going to go back on to my blog site for a second. Uh, I'm just going to go and show you some of the other things that we can do and we'll we'll, we'll bring we'll bring one of them in um so i'm not going to worry about text but the one that that quite a lot of people like which we can do is um creating a dial and i'm so so basically what i've what i've done is i i found i worked out the svg to draw this arch. OK, so that's what that SVG is. And I then. Worked out how to draw a line. So what we're going to do is I'm going to take that code there. That's not quite all the code. And I'll do. I'm going to take that code there. And we're going to create a measure. Let's make our screw a little bit smaller for this. No. I'm having a bad day, this, but there we go. Right. So let's create a new measure and we'll put another HTML part in. So, yes, there are there. You, you've got a gauge there. But it's a little limited. You can't necessarily get it to do all the things you want it to do. So that's where I was aiming at. Somebody wanted an, an arch that would, would, would do something clever for them. So we're going to. Um, that's not how you spell gauge, is it? That looks slightly better. Um, gauge SVG equals. Now this is not going to work totally to begin with because SVG start and SVG end aren't in there. But so what we're going to do is we're going to copy from my cheat sheet up above here. And there we go. And I'm because I'm going to put this in the HTML part, I'm going to remove that data, that, that data string of the prefix. OK. Right. So. My and I haven't and I haven't got a score like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to do. Actually, we have got a score, but we're going to do the minimum of the uh, sorry, the average of the score. That's what we were using, wasn't it? The average of the complete. OK, now, so we've got a rotation now. It's only a half circle, so the rotation is 180. OK, times it by that. And so then I draw a line. OK, so this is my line and it basically starts. Let me just take you back over here. Start. I draw it here down, down the edge here. And then I rotate it by the middle point here, however much I want it to go. So that's what so this line here and how wide it's going to be, uh, the width of it and this color is going to be black. And then I do a transform. Um, and the transform is our rotate. By 50, at the point 5050, um, we're going to rotate it a certain amount. Now, if I remember right, so this SVG arch, I haven't got my SVG arch variable. 
let's just go and take that off of here. I knew I was missing something. And by the way, you, you start writing, you start writing um, long measures like this, comments and, and format it. Um, I love I love the quote. I think it's from Marco, which is S it, um, Dax isn't Dax isn't Dax unless it's formatted. Um, so that should work. Let's bring in a one here. And let's bring in my gauge. I named it differently, but never mind. And there you go. We've got our our arch that's showing that's showing there. If I make it slightly, the arch actually fit. Um, we can. I can then. Oh no, my mouse is having a bad day. Um, I can then go and click on the Bizarre Toy Fair and that takes it to 60, but I can move it down to 30. OK, and you can see how it works. And the different places, so 50 percent is halfway. So that is naught and that is 100 percent in this particular case. OK, so you obviously need to work out 100 percent. OK, and I walk through in that blog post. I'm not going to do it now because I'm, I'm realizing that we're, we're coming up to three quarters of um, three quarters of the hour. Um, but through that post, I walk through making the different colours on that arch and how you can then put in some values of what you what, what different colour arches you want in there, etc., and how that would work. OK, um, we also talk about putting in some text. Um, I also have a post I got asked to do just a little while ago um, and I haven't done it yet, but I will, uh, which is putting in some gradients into there as well. So that you could have gradient fill into your SVG as well. So, I go back to somewhere. I must have a presentation going on. There we are. We went into our demo. So, I could do some more demo, but are there any? I I, I don't want to fill the hour without people being able to ask questions. Any questions? Uh, fantastic. Do you uh, do you uh, like probably that's part of uh, the blog you mentioned that uh, can you do like filling uh, color of the uh, of that arch like before the line on a different color after the line on a different color? Is it possible as well? Oh, you could do that. Yes, you could do that. Um, so what I let me just go. Let me just go and quickly show you the blog. So if you actually scroll down this blog. I then go on to here. I then put in, I then add the color and then I add the colors. So into here, nice. I, I put it into there. But you but so, so what I've done there is I've drawn a green arch, an orange arch and a red arch and rotated them. Right. But okay. You could, fantastic. you could have a fill color go up to there, up to that line and then obviously have the arch behind it of another color. So the red and the gray again, maybe. So, yeah, no, you could do that. That'd be cool. Nice. That, that's that's fantastic and uh, and i shared the links to uh your blog uh blog post about svg in the chat Brilliant. window here so i see a lot of people and, and, and i think liking. you you guys you guys have done some videos on svg as well i think if i'm ready so there's a number of us out there that have done some yeah Layla Le has some on charticulator svg i'm not sure probably not on svg oh, okay. but yeah, okay. with with Charticulator we have some, yeah. But mm. this is fantastic to see what uh, can be done with SVG yeah, and Power and BI, and I guess you can use it in inside Power Platform as well. I see it in some of your other blog yes. articles. Yes. So I did a um, a Mad series um, just after Christmas of twelve days of uh, twelve days of components, which were all SVG components, so stars and all sorts of things. Um, we drew a Christmas tree because why not? Um, 
and, but we did all sorts of things and you can rotate text and you can do also all the things that you can do to transform SVG. And there are some amazing things done with SVG. So lots of that you can bring in to um, you can bring into a Power BI report so that you're not limited to just the graphics you're expecting to see. So no, there, there are lots of there are lots of opportunities of things to add in um, using SVG in there. Um, and if people have got ideas and things they want to work out if we can do, then 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 find me, find me on LinkedIn or Twitter, um, and 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 put challenges. Hey, I'm sure between us we can work it out. Um, I see no reason for them not to work. Um, I've not had any problems with them being embedded. So we've had them into into teams. We've had them into um, even bizarrely um, the visuals from here embedded into Power Apps. Um, so they work. Uh, there's, I've not ha I've not hit a place where they don't work um, because behind behind it they are literally just that the, the language that's expected of a web page so they work thank you No, but thank you, thank you, thank you for um, coming in to see. And I'd love to see what people do. If people have got um, report uh, uh, images they can share and things like that, that would be great. Uh, it's always great to see what people do with ideas that you start. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh. So, um. So, so yes. You, you. I mean, on that table. So yes. So, so on that table, I could. Um, you need to. Um, uh, on the tooltips. Um, you can't use the default. So you're going to have to bring in. Um. So I made tooltip defaults. What would that bring me in? Now that just brings me in horrific. Um. So you actually are going to have to bring in a tooltip page. Um, you are going to have to bring in a, a separate page to be that tooltip in order to stop that happening, uh, yep. because that just looks that just looks horrible. <laughs> and that's yep. not even all of it. So yes, you are going to have you are going to have to. So the problem is as soon as so that one works. So that one's kind of working, but as soon as I get out here, it's it's going no 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 that's that's, that's not playing ball. Um, it's trying to show the SVG. So what you need to do is putting bring in a tooltip, um, and I'm sure I haven't done any videos on that. Have, have you? I'm sure yeah, you we must have. Have. We have a video on report page tooltip explaining there how you to go. do that. Yep. There you go. So that that I recommend that video then. Awesome. Uh, Great. Thank you. Thank you again for your time. Thank you everyone for joining us. Um, until our next uh, webinar next week. Uh, will let you to enjoy the rest of your day and the rest of your week. And thank you, Lara, for your time. Thank you. Bye, everyone.